Hey everyone, I'm Tim Janis and welcome to my channel, Hiking and Road Trip Adventures. Today we are traveling to the Grand Canyon on an 18 mile hike down the South Kaibab Trail to Phantom Ranch and back up the Sky Angel Trail all in one day. I'm gonna tell you all about the trail, where to stay, what to do. So happy you're with us, let's go. Okay, so we just paid our entrance fee. Now we're going into the Grand Canyon. So if you're staying inside the park at one of the hotels, um, you have to pay the entrance fee first, which was $35 for seven days. Now we're heading to the Bright Angel Lodge uh, to stay for, for a couple days while we hike the trails. And by the way, on our way in, we saw some caribou. They were amazing right alongside the road. So this is it. This is what it looks like once you pay your entrance fee. You're making your way inside the park. It's so beautiful. Hey everybody, so we just checked in the Bright Angel Lodge. See, it's all these little cabins. Um, right on the south rim, it's amazing. There's, so it's really great. We're gonna walk over to the Bright Angel Trailhead where we'll be coming out of the canyon tomorrow. It's a nine mile hike back up. So we'll be pretty tired. And it's right on the rims. And there's this great little kind of boardwalk along the rim that you can um, look out over. Um, there's this hotel and there's a couple other hotels. So they're all kind of located in the same area, but I'll, I'll walk you through those hotels so you can see it. Let's go see the uh, entrance to the trail to the Bright Angel Canyon. Here we go. Hey everybody, now we're walking down the Bright Angel Trail. Check out the Grand Canyon right there. So uh, we're not gonna go down very far. I heard that you can walk down 1.5 miles to a sort of little uh, stopping point, but this, will, this is where we're gonna be coming up tomorrow and you can see it's a long ways to the bottom. So this is actually, this Bright Angel Trailhead is, is um, just a step away from the uh, cabins we're staying in, Bright Angel Can Lodge. So recommend all of this. You can see right away I don't want to get the wind here, but you're right in nature. It's amazing. So um, I'm walking down a little more down the Brady Engine Trail. I think you'll love this sign. It says, when mules pass stand to the inside of the trail. We can do that. And if you look over there, you can see the trail. Those are switchbacks. See them right on the other side there, and look where it's going. Way, way down there. Oh, the sun is hitting the canyons over there. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Amazing. Wow. Well, I imagine tomorrow we'll be pretty tired, so it's kind of fun seeing it now. Good morning everybody, good morning. We're on our way to the uh, canyon edge. We're just leaving the Bright Angel Canyon cabins. I totally recommend it, they're awesome. And uh, I ran along the uh, um, rim today, the south rim is like a beautiful trail. So tomorrow morning I hope to show you that, but we gotta catch the uh, shuttle bus now. Beautiful morning here at the Grand Canyon, so we're gonna hit the trail now. 17 miles.
Okay, everybody, here we are at the South Kaibab Trailhead. I mean, look at that. You see that? I think that trail down there is where we're going. I don't know if you can understand how far down that is, but it's a long ways. Yep. Kaibab Trail. We're going down there. There's the canyon. Wow. Goes a long ways down. We're just cruising along the edge here. Pretty nice. Big, big view. Check out, um, check out these amazing rock formations as we're hiking down the trail. Look at that view. Isn't this cool? This is the South Kaibab Trail. It's amazing. You can see people down there hiking. We're just going down there. Way down there. Down the edge. Kaibab Trail is pretty amazing. It's a little muddy. I think there was some rain yesterday. That might, or, um, mud might be better than, um, you know, dust. Okay, they have a sign back there about um, safety. We're hiking. This is the South Kaibab Trail. Look how beautiful it is. The rocks. It's amazing. So um, when you're hiking this trail, if it's the summertime, they say be very careful. But now it's a cool day. I've got a winter jacket on. Um, South Kaibab Trail. We're going to go down to the Colorado River and then back up the Bright Angel Canyon Trail. Wow, it's so beautiful. This is amazing. You know, some, some really interesting things that I've learned about the Grand Canyon is it's actually 277 miles in length. And the other part is that the uh, widest point um, the Grand, of the Grand Canyon is, is 18 miles across. So amazing. So beautiful. You know, um, safety is really important at the Grand Canyon, and uh, these are the things that they said that uh, when people end up having a little bit of trouble, these are the things. They don't bring enough water, don't bring enough food, underestimate the wilderness, and overestimate their own abilities. Uh, don't, let's see, don't wear comfortable hiking boots, they overpack their backpacks, they don't plan uh, their hiking tours, and they don't let other people know their travel plans. So those are just some of the safety things that you have to look out for. Um, one of the rangers said something that stuck with my mind. They said, you have to respect the, re the canyon and it'll respect you. So keep all those things in mind. don't know is that the canyon is full of hidden caves. There are an estimated 1,000 caves within the canyon, but only 335 have been reported, and only one cave is open to the public. Really amazing. We're coming out on a very popular lookout point on the South Kaibab Trail. It's only about a mile down, so you could always just hike to this point and then go back up if you wanted to. Wow, that is so beautiful. You know, just some interesting facts about the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon National Park is actually bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. Amazing. The 
say the air at the Grand Canyon is amongst the cleanest air in the United States, so take a deep breath. The elevation of the south room is around 7,000 feet above sea level, so consider that too if you're not used to the altitude changes, um, but it's amazing. Hey everybody, we're coming to the first rest stop in kind of a really large spot here. Let's see, it's called Cedar Ridge. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Cedar Ridge. And it's a big wide open space, so some people, you know, if you go to the Kaibab Trail, you might just want to hike to Cedar Ridge. Look at that view. And there's some bathrooms here, so it's a great stopping point for maybe a picnic or something like that. Of course, we're going to keep going down. Look at that. Wow. Oh, no drinking water available here. That's okay, we brought lots. And look at the hitching rails for the mules. I bet the mules are always happy to get here. Uh, you know, one thing as we go farther down into the canyon that's kind of amazing, um, and I'm gonna show more photos of this, but it can be so much warmer at the bottom of the canyon. It's, it's 5,000 feet down, so it's kind of like a reverse mountain. So if you were going hiking um, and you looked up at a 5,000 foot high mountain, that's what, kind of what it's like when you're down in, uh, at the Colorado River in the basin. So, you know, we were there when it snowed on the rim. And of course, I wasn't down below, but when the clouds clear, you could tell that they had no snow. And, I'm sure it was way warmer. So it's very, very interesting. So you really need to be prepared for different climates, just like if you were hiking up a really high mountain. Hey everybody. All right, see the, a little bit down, you can see the people right about there, that's where we're going. And then we're going across that ridge right there. Amazing, this is the Kaibab Trail. We're like three miles into it, so I better stop talking and start hiking, because I think I have seven more miles to go before I get to the bottom. And then what happens, you go back up, nine miles. Hey everybody, check out this view. Such a cool point. Look at those people hanging over the edge. Wow. The Kaibab Trail is amazing. <clears throat> and that ridge back there, that's where we came from, way up, up there on the ridge. Let's keep going. Hey everybody, we're here at Skeleton Point. It's a nice stopping place if you want to stop and go back. Or like us, keep going. Let's go. You 
this is kind of an interesting thing about the canyon. There's actually a town inside the canyon with a population of 208 people. The Sopia village is the most remote community in the continental United States. I think, I think sometimes visitors can stay there. I'm not sure of the details of it, but wow, talk about remote. Amazing. Hey everybody, can you see the switchbacks down there? Those people way, way, way down there. And the switchbacks are over there. And there's the trail. Pretty amazing. Let's keep going. Four miles into the trail. Hey everybody, so I'm, I'm stopped here along the way on the South Kaibab Trail. And as you can tell, that's where we came from, way up there. And now we're everything's above us now. I think we're going to hit a plateau in a minute and then we're going to go down to see the Colorado River. Let's go. Hey everybody, we're coming up to tip off. Um, so this is about, well, our thing says six miles uh, down the trail. So, okay. And I think now we're really getting ready to go down towards the river. Wow, we're getting down near the bottom of the canyon. Um, one thing that's really important is to bring a lot of snacks and things to eat. We are vegan, so we pre-made a lot of our food and you know nuts and uh, I like to put orange juice in the water we drink, so it gives you an extra boost. But um, that just, you know, when you get, uh, and we know we found this, and you get towards the end of the trail and you're 15 miles in, um, all of that's gonna give you the extra energy you need to keep going. So beautiful. Hey everybody, check out the mule train down there. You see it coming? It's coming up, so we're gonna see some mules. Maybe we can catch a ride if we get tired. What do you think? You know, the uh, Grand Canyon is home to a huge mystery. Um, the Grand Canyon displays a geological phenomenon known as the Great Unconformity. This phenomenon refers to the fact that 250 million year old rock layers lie directly against 2.5 billion year old rocks and no one knows what happens to the hundreds of millions of years of missing layers. So that is a big mystery. Hey everybody, check it out. There is the Colorado River. Isn't that amazing? So who wants to go for a swim? Check it out. So we're taking the trail down. It's the Colorado River. That's our first sign of it. Kind of makes you want to keep going. Check out this viewpoint so you can see the Colorado River down there. We're right across from this huge canyon wall, and that's where we're going, down that way through these canyons. Pretty amazing trail. Look at that view of the river from this, and that's the trail we're going on. We're almost at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Hey everybody, this is so beautiful and amazing. So we're making our way down the trail. You can see, you see the trail way down below us heading to the river and you can see that bridge crossing the, bri the river. So there's a bridge that crosses um, this side of our trail going down the South Kaibab Trail. And then when we go back right into the trail, we'll have to go across another bridge, but we're heading down towards this bridge and you can also start to make out a tunnel. So you have to go through a tunnel and then over the bridge. But check out the trail. It's amazing how it winds down through there. And then, uh, you know, now, one thing that's really interesting is if you think of the Grand Canyon, um, going to the bottom of the Grand Canyon is like an inverted mountain. So like we are getting to the top of the mountain where it's basically if it was a 5,000 foot mountain, but now we're 
at the bottom of the canyon. So, um, so now everything is above us. All the canyon walls um, are so high above as you as you go down into the canyon. And to think we have to go all the way back up today. Yikes! But anyway, look at the bridge. Here we go. Get ready. Let's cross the bridge. Hey everybody, okay we're going across the bridge, look at the river, it's amazing, this is so awesome, gosh, if you make your way down to the bottom of the canyon it's so worth it, so it's really just seven miles down to the river but of course you're winding back and forth. Did you know that the Grand Canyon is bigger than the state of Rhode Island? I think when you're down here at the river looking up at everything you really get that, that feeling. So we're gonna, um, we're not gonna be able to stay long down here but you know Phantom Ranch is down here. It's, uh, it's kind of an offshoot. There's a little stream that comes off the Colorado River that runs up to Phantom Ranch. Um, so let's, let's go along the river a bit and check it out. We are on the other side of the river. Here's a map, kind of show you where we are. You can see Phantom Ranch on it. It's amazing. It's so beautiful here on the other side of the river. There's cactuses and uh, just all kinds of wildlife. We even saw deer. Amazing, so beautiful. Uh, there's also some signs along the trail at the bottom uh, shows you the history of the people that were here before us and all kinds of things so it's super interesting if you can spend a little time down here it's really worth it um, it's also a good place to get water you definitely want to get water uh, it can be as you know so hot in the canyon that you need lots of water so you should definitely feel up here uh, this is also kind of a crossroads you can branch off to uh, phantom ranch and we're, we're gonna keep going straight, which will bring us up the uh, Bright Angel Trail. And then also, people are, that have come over from the North Rim. We're gonna go up the trail a little bit towards Phantom Ranch, but we don't have a lot of time because we gotta hike back up the trail to the uh, top, yikes. Anyway, but this trail to Phantom Ranch, some people go down here, they stay the night. There's also on the other side of this river, there's the campground, which is not part of Phantom Ranch, but part of the National Park Services, which you can stay overnight if you get a permit. Um, but a lot of people will go down to Phantom Ranch and there you can go to the canteen and get something to eat and also send a postcard or letter. It's, uh, there's a post office there, which is amazing. So that is so cool. Oh look, that's where the mules rest. They need it, <laughs> but after that long hike up and down, the canyon. So okay, well we're gonna start to head out now. Uh, we're going back across this little stream and then we're gonna head back to the bridge that takes us to the Bright Angel Trail. So we're going to go along the river here and we film some of the river and I just want to take a moment so you can hear the sound of the water and see some of the different angles that we're taking along this mile trail on the river. Let's take a listen. You know, the name Colorado originates from the Spanish word for red color. And uh, this is because of the red sandstone silt that would cover the river basin, making it look red. Also, the source of the Colorado River is the high Rocky Mountains. 
and the river passes through 11 different national parks. Also, the river is home to one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the Grand Canyon. Uh, 277 miles of the river flows through the Grand Canyon and uh, are, large, are largely within the park. Um, and the water there is known for difficult white water separated by pools that reach up to 110 feet in depth. And also, the Colorado River flows through seven states, uh, five U.S. states and two Mexican states. It flows through, the, through Colorado, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, California, Baja California, and the length of the Colorado River is approximately 1,450 miles long and is one of the principal rivers of the southwest United States and northern Mexico. All right, here we are coming up to the Indian Garden sign, so we're gonna turn off from our trip along the river and start heading up the Bright Angel Trail. So the next stop is the Indian Garden Campground and then back to the South Rim. So we're gonna follow this beautiful river up along the way. Let's go. We are heading up to Indian Meadow. There, we're gonna take a break and keep going, and going, and going. But we have come from way down there. Yes, and we are going way up there. Isn't that amazing? Such a cool trail. Let's keep going. Okay, everybody, see that trail down there? <laughs> That's where we were. And then we went up, up, over, over, over. And we still have to go way up there, okay? So this is the Bright Angel Trail, you can just see. It's really beautiful. It's not too steep, I mean, relatively so. And we are, we're going up there. Let's keep going. Check that out. So beautiful. This is the Bright Angel Trail. It's uh, not as steep as the trail we came down on. There's been, I think, two restrooms on the way so far. One emergency phone in case you need help. Definitely better to do like now when it's, it's March. If it was hot, I think that would be difficult. So take that seriously. We are trying to do the entire up and down one day which is never recommended so if you were gonna stay you know at the Phantom Ranch you would uh, be fine but if you're doing it all at once I think the cooler weather helps but we're not at the top yet so we'll have to tell you what happens let's keep hiking You know, some, some really interesting things that I learned about the Grand Canyon is it's actually 277 miles in length. And the other part is that the uh, widest point of the Grand Canyon is, is 18 miles across. So amazing.
Okay, everybody, look at this beautiful mountain stream coming down uh, right through Red Angel Trail. You know, we still have a long ways to go to the top, but this is just so amazing. If we had more time, we'd definitely like, you know, take your shoes off and put them in the water. It's so amazing. Let's keep going. More river crossings. So you're in the Grand Canyon, what would you think? There were all these rivers to cross. Now we have to get across. We're going by this beautiful waterfall right below us on the Bright Angel Trail and it goes right up this meadow. Just amazing. What a beautiful hike. Right above the waterfall now. Amazing. Hey everybody, this is looking down at um, the Indian Meadow campground. There was a lot of people there, but there was still some sites available. It's, it's beautiful. I heard it's not too hard to get a reservation, not as hard as Phantom Ranch. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep going up the trail. Here we go. Four more miles. Hey everybody, we are on the Bright Angel Canyon Trail. We have just came down the South Kaibab Trail. We went along the Colorado River, and this behind me is the entryway to Indian Meadow Campground. It's so beautiful. We are making our way back up, up there, to the uh, back up to the uh, top of the the. Uh, whoa! I snuck up on you. It's back to the top of the um, rim, South Rim of the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. Let's keep going. Hey everybody, this is so amazing. It smells so good here. It's like, I don't know if it's the bushes or the brush or trees. Um, you can see it. I think that's the ridge up there. Um, our hotel is right at the top of this trail. The Kaibab Trail was very steep going down, um, but it was faster. You know, you got to see the Colorado River really quickly. Um, I think we're heading to some switchbacks now, which will, you know, get us up faster. We started this morning at um, about 7 a.m. We caught the bus. I don't know what time it is now because our cell phones are dead. They died. <laughs> so bring back up battery packs if you can. Uh, we just have our big camera now. It's beautiful though. All right, let's keep going. Hey everybody, we're on the Bright Angel Trail. I think we have to hit, there's a 1.5 um, kind of station that we haven't hit yet, so maybe like two more miles down the trail, but wow, the sun's going down. So we have to go up and get 
to end the trail, but I wanted to show you a bit more of the trail. There are um, really sharp switchbacks right now. And I imagine it'll be that the rest of the way to the top of the trail, but it's nice. It's not bad at all. And it cools down as you get higher. So <laughs> you get hotter, it cools down. So works out pretty nice. Okay, so some uh, news to worry about. This is a three mile rest house, which means we have three miles to go and the sun is going down. So that means we need to go fast. Let's do it. amazing it's so dark I can't see but we are almost there oh my gosh just like another 50 yards wow and the amazing thing when we get to the top here this is gonna drop us off right at our hotel which because we stayed at the Bright Angel Lodge yippee so imagine that we hiked you know 18 miles to the Grand Canyon and you come right back to the doorstep of your hotel wow it's so dark but it's so beautiful we are there this is amazing Good morning everybody, this is day two. So this is what the Grand Canyon looks like today. Yesterday was sunny and warm, today it's snow. Okay, here's another spot along the canyon rim. I, I wanted to do more of the rim trail today, which is just so beautiful. It's along the top of the trail, it's amazing. But check out the snow. You have to remember, yesterday was like so warm and sunny, today is snow. So the message is to all of us hikers, be prepared for anything. Um, I think that's important. But uh, it's beautiful, but look, you cannot see anything in the canyon. Yeah, snowy, snowy, snowy. <laughs> wow, amazing.